reading for January 11th, entitled, The Choice is Ours. And the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is athirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. The work of your salvation and mine depends wholly upon ourselves, for it rests with us to accept the provision that has been made for us. God has done everything for us that a God can do. Christ has purchased you with his own blood. He has paid the ransom money that you might be united with God and separated from sin and sinners. When the heart is opened to Christ, the Holy Spirit will work in it with mighty, renewing power. But in order that we may be laborers together with God, there must be on our part an entire surrender to God. We must, to the extent of our ability, devote ourselves to Him, straining every spiritual sinew and as faithful soldiers doing service for Christ. The law of duty to God is supreme. It claims authority over reason and conscience, over talents and possessions. It will admit no rival and will not for one moment abate its high demands. It enters into no compromise with any oppressive power of earth. In every act of duty, we are hiding self in Jesus. We reach out beyond ourselves, beyond the narrow scope of selfish and present gratification. Obedience to God brings the soul into agreement with the highest laws in the universe. It imparts dignity and true greatness to the humblest occupation where Christ can preside. It crowns the lowliest position in life with the highest honors, bringing man into alliance with God and binding up his interests with plans and purposes that have existed in the infinite mind from eternity. The Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price for you, not to secure a mere assent to the truth, but for heart service. He desires the homage of your soul. You cannot cease to believe that you ought to do the will of God. You can no more release yourself from the claims of duty than you can flee from the presence of God. It is only in obedience to God that you will realize true happiness. I entreat you to open the door of your heart and let your Savior in. Give Him the whole heart, that which He has purchased. Ever bear in mind that it is you who must choose. God forces no man. He has chosen you and engraven your name in the palms of His hands. Will you not give yourself fully to Him? Time is short. You have not a moment to lose in hesitation. The divine word is in your hands to be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Taken from Letter 21A, dated January 11, 1893, to N.D. Falkhead, treasurer of the Echo Publishing House and at the time involved with secret societies. <laughs> 